guys, this is All Gen Gamer here, and today I wanted to show you the GameStar. Uh, if you wanted to find a way to play PS2 ISOs off uh, internal hard drive, you need this. And if it's the newer kind of hard drive, because this was released recently, like if you have a SATA hard drive, this adapter has been released recently with the, well, within the last year. Uh, with the SATA instead of IDE. IDE was the older one, which was a uh, humongous hard drive, but this is SATA, and it, it makes uh, loading the games really easy. But before we get on to the video, uh, please subscribe and hit the notification button so that you know when I upload new videos. And please uh, put the like button if you like these kind of videos so I know to make more of these kind of videos. Anyhow, on with the video. So if you have an extra one of these, the SATA hard drives that you had gotten either from, uh, you know, you upgraded your PS4, PS3 to a bigger hard drive and you're like, well, what am I gonna do with this? Well, uh, I have viewed Tech James video about this network adapter because I have a uh, translucent blue PS2 and it works fine. It's just that I have free MC boot with this and I figured, hey, you know, I never, I've seen people play games off their hard drive or a flash drive or whatever, but it's slow because this is a USB here is 1.1, uh, I'm sorry, 1.0, 1.1 and it's really slow in loading games and videos. So. I heard that it's faster to load them off a hard drive. So I picked this thing up. Uh, it's called the GameStar Network Adapter. It's basically a newer version of the PS2 Network Adapter. And what this is, is the original had IDE for the bigger hard drives and a bigger, heavier, fatter hard drives. But this is the Network Adapter with SATA, S-A-T-A. And you can use a laptop hard drive like this. And then you have to uh, this came with like this, it came originally with a plastic covering here, I guess so that it won't get damaged, but be sure to take this off when you do, uh, you know, install it onto your PS2. And, uh, again, I have, it works with the, with the Japanese PS2 or an American PS2 and a European PS2. So it's, it's really nice. So in order to install this, you remove this plastic covering here and then you put this and make sure you line it up correctly. So, uh, oh, one hand. Yeah, it goes in like that. Easy peasy and you put it in. What you do need though, remember, is that you need to format your hard drive correctly. You can view Tech James video. I'm not gonna go into like, you know, detail, but you have to format your, uh, your SATA drive and I have a 40 gig one here because I had gotten this from a, a PS3. I upgraded my PS3 from 40 gigs to, uh, it had, well, had more uh, hard drive space. So I got a bigger hard drive for it. But yeah, I was, I just had this old hard drive lying around from the PS3 and I'm like, oh, okay, so maybe I'll just use it. Pretty nice. The one thing though, it's harder to, I had to put this down to remove. Ah, there we go. Well, it's nice versus the IDE, which is big, and that's why this hole is really large in the PlayStation 2 for to fit that hard drive. But again, it's called the GameStar Network Adapter. Yep, made in China. So, but you put this here, and then what you need to do though, you need to have a way to for uh, to hook this up to your computer. Like I have a reader for the hard drive disk reader for either IDE or SATA. Put it in, format it, and then make sure uh, you use WinHip. It's uh, W-I-N-H-I-I-P, WinHip. And you can format your drive and be sure to format it with the drive with that you're um, using. Don't accidentally format your hard drive for your laptop or your desktop computer when you're doing it. But uh, after you're done, you can load games from WinHip and then uh, you can just load onto here your 
hard drive and you just attach it on and then you're good to go. So put it on there and then you put it in here, pretty easy. You put it in and then clip it on. You know, it's clipped on, so it's in. So what you do is you tighten these screws up and then this is not real. It's a fake telephone thing. I'm not gonna take it off because it looks, uh, yeah, it's not really real because if you've seen Tech James video, uh, this thing, you peel it off and it is not real. So this is a good way to play your backups, you know, preserve if your hard drive is either dead or it's slow reading or, you know, you just wanted to have the convenience of having games already at your fingertips. You use, uh, you use PS2 Open Loader. So yeah, you need free MC boot and then you load the games off uh, PS2 Open Loader and then you just configure it to, uh, for the hard drive, you go to settings, you go to uh, all the way down for the HDD and I made it manual setting and save those settings okay and then get out of there and then it will read the games off your hard drive and uh you're good to go there so pretty neat it's faster it's actually faster loading from the hard drive versus a disc so it's really nice if you again if your ps2 is slow loading the laser or the laser has gone out or you just want it again a quicker way again you need to do this with every mc boot it's not it's the only way you can uh do it with free mc boot because it includes the ps2 open loader and uh yeah it's pretty nice also i used opl manager so that in case like the cd games like i tried a cd game and it didn't work so you have to convert it from a bin queue file to excuse me by yawning to uh an iso so yeah and uh anyhow that's just a quick rundown of again it's called the game star and it's better they have ide version but again if you have extra ps3 or laptop hard drives lying around you can reuse it repurpose it for this and it's really easy uh anyhow that is it and thank you again for watching and until next time you have a good one take care